our last day in the Bahamas. Tomorrow starts a good weather window for our passage. Preparations in full swing on the deck for early departure tomorrow morning. Spinnaker lines are out, the pole is out. We're all set up with the spinnaker. Here's all the sheets and guys. Two sheets red and green, two guys yellow. They all go to the bowsprit here. The parasailer has two guys sitting here, which you'll see when we have the sail up. And everything is led aft. Ready for action. Preparing for our departure from Bahamas, Glenn is looking at the weather. Yeah, so here's Cuba. We've got to go around the edge of Cuba through the Windward Passage and across the bottom of Cuba to Cayman. So to start with, we're going to leave tomorrow morning when it's very, very calm, going up to the top of Long Island. And then during the day, we've got this big front coming down and we are trying to stay ahead of it. So we reach the tip of Cuba just about as it hits us on Sunday morning. Then once we're around the Cuba, we're actually in the lee of the island. Head across the bottom of Cuba, past Little Cayman and Cayman Brack there, and then Tuesday after lunch we arrive in Cayman here, all with nice following winds, hopefully. You see, if we wait till after that's gone, We'll have big waves and we'll have the wind in our face back to trade winds. So we've uh, really got to go now or wait for the next uh, opportunity, which could be weeks. Leaving the Stocking Island anchorage off of Georgetown. And after two months in the Bahamas, we are finally heading for Van Cayman. We left from behind Stocking Island in mid morning. Very, very calm with a southwesterly wind just kicking in. We motored all the way out to the deep water. We'd like to cut across here, but this is all too shallow for us. So we took a spinnaker run all the way up to the tip of Long Island, rounded the island, and then it got a little bit windy and it started getting dark. So we came down the back of the island with poled out Genoa and Mainsail, past Clarence Town, and at midnight we were just about level with the south tip of Long Island. 10 a.m., the wind just kicked in. We should be in Grand Cayman in four days, if all goes well. Believe it or not, this is the channel with all these boats anchored in. We've motored our way out of the shallows, soon to be in the deeper water. Time to put some sails up. Seven to nine knots of wind left behind us. We'll attempt the spinnaker. It's been so long we've had this out. I think it was in the BVI's last year when we last used it. Do you remember how it's done? Well, I'm taking it nice and slowly. No rush, we have four days. Yeah. We are ready to launch, the captain says. The sausage is all the way up. And there we are, getting some fresh air in the parasailer. Nice, huh? It wasn't flying very happily in this light wind. So we've pulled out. And now we are going in the direction we actually want to go. Is the captain happy? Well, we got it up without mixing the lines up, which is like a first, right? Not bad after a year. Doing just about five knots in eight knots of wind. Dead downwind. Not the usual rushing waves. All very calm. Long may it last. This is the parasailer, set up for dead downwind. Always more stable on the pole. It's 
extremely easy to put the pole on though after you've launched it without the pole. You can see the two guys, the yellow ones from each corner, coming down to the bowsprit. Stabilizes it really well. I've got a four guy and an aft guy on the pole, but to be honest, it really doesn't need it. It's so much stability with the uh, yellow guy and the sheet and the up pole. It's just fine, but it's just got it on there for safety. And you can see all the telltales showing the air is flowing through the gap, lifting the sail really nicely. doing five knots in one and a half knots of apparent wind about six seven knots of true I can barely feel the wind on my back barely and yet the kite's flying really well it's quite an interesting sail The wind's piped up to 12, 13 knots, which has brought the apparent wind right on the beam. So I've eased off on the pole, still keeping it there. Although most of the tension is on the guy right now. Just keep it this side of the um, Genoa. Doing a nice steady seven and a half knots now in 13 and flat seas in the distance there is the tip of Long Island the northern tip which we've got to go past I just love this sail at the moment Maybe if it gives me trouble taking it down, I'll change my mind. A squall is approaching. Didn't want to get ourselves in any mess there. So we took the spinnaker down. We'll soon round the corner anyway. And we'll go with main and Genoa only. Sailing down the east side of Long Island, now firmly in the Atlantic. The swell's here, but it's not too bad. Probably a meter or so. The wind's up to 14, 15 knots, and it's due to increase, so we put the spinnaker away. It was fun while it lasted, and now we're goosewing downwind. Still doing a nice six and a half, seven knots. Perfect to keep in front of the front. We just come around the corner of Long Island, did a right hand turn, and now heading southeast towards the Windward Passage next to Cuba. A couple of days to do this. Mid afternoon, the next sail configuration. We are rolling a bit.
half an hour to sunset and that's probably the last that we are going to see of the sun. It will hide behind the clouds. Day two, our midnight to midnight track was pretty straight south southeast down the back of the Aitken Island past North Rock with a nice spinnaker run down here. About here the black clouds at the front caught us up and we put the spinnaker down just in time before we had 20-25 knots up our back rounding through Windward Passage at midnight with a really good wind up behind us. Next morning we start with the same cell configuration 24 hours into the journey, we are here, just south of North Rock, 151 miles completed. Doing a nice speed in 15 knots of wind, well 14-15 broad reach. And we've just put the spinnaker up. It feels a lot more stable. The sea is building up. Not too much. Half a meter waves maybe. Very calm.
on PayPal's and we do three days comes the rain. We took the spinnaker down in preparation. 10 minutes before we got hit. Perfect timing, I would say. Let's see if I can get a gusting 30. Late afternoon, 15, 16 knots of wind. Very nice light in the cells. And we still have the very dark clouds behind us. Well, this is a nice speed. Nine knots and 20 knots of wind. When we get this goosewing cell just right, we just fly along. Nine and a half knots. We are flying. Probably got a little bit too much sail out, I'd say. Whoa! I think we're even surfing there. No sunsets this evening. Just more clouds and squalls and rain. I'm getting soaked. We are cozy and warm inside the cockpit tent. Here is the squall surrounding us. touching 30 knots again. You ready to hang steer? Yeah, I'm ready. We've got full main and most of the genoa around to 25 knots. So it's um, if she suddenly caught screws around, I'm going to have to grab it. For the moment, it's doing okay. With this rain, we should get a good rinse on the decks. Next day, midnight to midnight track as the Windward Passage next to Cuba to just off of Jamaica. We came through the Windward Passage uh, with a lot of wind behind us and quite choppy seas. Right here we had a nasty squall just when I wanted the jibe and it started taking us off towards Haiti. Eventually the squall came through and we jibed and we had quite a sleigh ride down here, downwind with 25 to 30 knots behind us. Gradually the wind petered off until we were motoring along the south coast of Cuba, at which point we decided rather than going on to Cayman, we would turn left and go to Jamaica. So we had a bit of an upwind here until the wind swung round, it was coming through the Windward Passage here quite strongly, and we caught it here again at 20, 25 knots, and we came into Jamaica with a following wind and a following sea into Port Antonio here at 2 o'clock in the morning. It's still very overcast. And that is Cuba over there. A ray of sunshine through there in between the clouds.
still doing a good speed, but fighting a bit of current. Forty-eight hours into the journey, we progress from North Rock through the Windward Passage, and we are here, south of Cuba. The wind is not playing a fair game. We were supposed to have some, but not really. So we've been motor sailing since 9 a.m. It's now 3 p.m. and we have slight change of plans, change of destination, more to the point. I was just reading my book and realized we're going right past Jamaica, so why not stop there? We're What's going that? to Jamaica. Oh, we're going to Jamaica. Whoa, whoa. On a Caribbean something something, I've forgotten the words. What do you think? We shouldn't sign up for karaoke, that's what I think. A few minutes later, turn 80 degrees to port. And we are on our new course to Jamaica. Wind in front of the beam. Doing a nice speed. What a difference from this morning, clear blue sky. Later in the afternoon, the wind picked up. It's touching 18, 20 knots. The waves are bigger and they are certainly throwing us around. Rift Main and Genoa. Still doing just under 9 knots. Well, 8 to 9. And we hope we are going to have a nice sunset. a.m. We are anchored in Antonio port. Only one other boat anchored here next to us. Welcome to Jamaica. Our surroundings by daylight. It is very green because Jamaica has the highest rainfall in the Caribbean. An inch a day. Hence the clouds and the green. You wouldn't think we've been sailing for the last three days with all the parasailer spaghetti on the deck 
very clean and tidy. It had such good washing with all this rain. We already had two downpours.